Hello everybody, I'm Rick from Little Homestead on the Hill and I'm going to show you how I made these steak tips on my smoker, seasoned, marinated, and how we have topped with some blue cheese dressing that uh, Liz made for me, and some rice and broccoli with some cheese drizzled over that. Awesome Sunday night dinner. Seasoning. Is there Star Wars full? Yep. The force is strong with the seasoning. <laughs> so. Start with some ground black pepper, some salt, <laughs> some chipotle and roasted garlic. onion powder some paprika paprika is it smoked paprika smoked paprika made in Spain I don't really know how much I put in. I guess about a teaspoon each, tablespoon each, oh, tablespoon each. And I just add it to a generic shaker. So I just got some small steaks. Found some that were on sale. Look pretty good. Look pretty tasty. Cut these in the in the strips. Um. I just put them in like, I just say, like two inch by two inch pieces, I'd say. Bite sized steak tips. Now that that's done, I, put, I use these disposable metal trays. They work. Get them from Dollar General or any dollar store. Or, you know, put all the steak tips inside there. Our seasoning mix that we made earlier. It has the salt, salt, pepper. Oh, is it roasted uh, chipotle garlic and some paprika in it and some onion powder? Mix it all up real good. Yogurt is yogurt is a is a natural organic um, way to uh, tenderize meat. What kind of yogurt is that? This is all homemade yogurt made by Liz. It was just a, a regular store brand yogurt too. It can be, you just want whole milk yogurt, probiotic yogurt. Um, you don't want nothing but flavoring in it, just a plain. I would stay away from the Greek stuff because it's really thick.
And we just take that, mix it all up real good. Make sure we coat all the pieces thoroughly. Now it's best to keep this um, overnight, but we're not doing yeah, it. Yeah, it, you'll get a much better result. The meat will be a lot more tender if it sits overnight. If you leave it in the fridge overnight, um, I'm kind of preparing it around noonish now to have around five, six o'clock this evening. So it'll have you know five, six hours of, of marinating time, which is which is pretty good. And let the so the yogurt's doing its job. It'll break down the meat. It'll help work those flavors inside the meat. So just leave that sit like that, and then uh, just throw it in the fridge and let it sit for a few hours. So we're going to let this marinate in the fridge for a couple hours and then we'll be back and put it, bring it come back when we go to put it on the grill. I haven't decided if I'm going to throw it on my propane grill or my wood pellet smoker yet. I'm still trying to figure that part out. A little extra smoky flavor would probably be really good in these. So, which we're probably going to do that. But we'll let you know. So now that this has been marinating for several hours, we have a nice mixture of our tips. They'll be seasoned using uh, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, and paprika. Mix it all together in a nice little shaker. Now, I'm going to take some skewers, I'm going to skew it all up, and then we'll put it on the smoker. Oh, so you can say it on the smoker? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them on the smoker. Why not? Okay, they cook quick. Tips cook pretty fast on the smoker, so we'll just cook them on the smoker. Any biggest reason for putting them on the skewer? Um, it's just easier to handle when they're on the on the grill, for me anyway. Now I have them all equally spaced out across the skewer. I do that mostly so smoke can get all around them, nice and good in the smoker. Now we take our seasoning and our skews out to the smoker. This is my little pit boss smoker that we picked up. It was on clearance about a year or so ago. I think it works pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with it. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It works. It works really good. Um, right now I've got it set to about 225 degrees. Um, I'm just gonna throw these in there and they save for about an hour. I'm just gonna add a little bit. I got a little bit left over uh, seasoning that we did earlier. Again, this was uh, salt and pepper, onion powder, paprika, and garlic powder with a little chipotle kick to it.
So I've gone back out to the smoker and I've retrieved some pieces of meat here. I cooked them to about 150 degrees. Uh, gives you like a medium, medium rare finish to them. Um, they, uh, I'm going to cover them now with tin foil and allow them to rest for a little bit. They're about a half hour to an hour. Well, about a half hour is probably good. And then uh, we'll, we'll try them out. Although I did sample a piece of one. Very good. I'm going to make some um, blue cheese dipping sauce. So what I have right now in the bowl is just some um, blue cheese. So I'm going to add some sour cream to it. And this is a very simple to do. So, mix those up. I'm gonna add some fresh ground pepper. A lot. and mix that together and it's that simple and this is an amazing topping for your steak tips time for the first bite. Marinated steak tip again. We used a variety of seasonings. Um, onion powder, paprika, uh, salt, pepper, some uh, chipotle garlic, smoked chipotle and garlic. Um, marinated them, wrapped, um, covered them in yogurt. Let them marinate for a few hours. Uh, put them on the smoker at 225 for about an hour. Come out really good and let's see how they taste. Very good.